Are you struggling to lose fat? Well, in this video, I go over the key drivers of fat loss and the main factors you must be implementing if you want to reach your fat loss goals. Fat loss is actually incredibly simple and is massively overcomplicated. All you need is a caloric deficit. What is a caloric deficit? It is when you are in a negative energy balance, burning more calories than you consume over a period of time. This can be achieved by two main factors, either eating less or moving more, but I recommend a combination of both of these. The first thing you need to do is find your calorie maintenance. To do this, you need to track everything you consume. This includes drinks, sauces, and oils. Do this for one week. Add the calories up that you tracked over the last seven days and divide it by seven, for example. Now you have roughly how many calories you should be eating. Stick to this for one week and adjust accordingly. If you gain weight, drop your calories. If you lose weight, increase your calories slightly. Now you have your maintenance calories. This next step is the most crucial part of this video. Now you need to create the calorie deficit. You want to lose around 0.5 to 1% of your current body weight per week and that you do this over 8 to 12 week period, depending on how much fat you want to lose. A 500 calorie cut will result in around 1 pound of weight loss per week. A 750 calorie cut will result in around a pound and a half of weight loss per week. And a 1000 calorie cut will result in around 2 pounds of weight loss per week. But how big of a cut should you make? You want to take your current body weight and multiply it by your weight loss per week goal. For example, 200 pounds times 0.5% equals one pound of weight loss per week one pound of weight loss per week equals 500 calorie deficit per day i recommend trying to get half the deficit through more activity so if you're getting under 10k steps a day i recommend hitting 10k steps minimum you can track this on the health app on your iphone or you can add some lists low intensity steady state cardio sessions burning around 250 calories and then the other 250 calories take out of your diet i recommend taking this out of fats but stay above 0.3 grams of fats per pound of body weight the next step is calculating your macros a good guideline is eating around one gram of protein per pound of body weight then fill the rest of your calories with fats and carbs these can vary on a day-to-day -day basis but don't try to stop eating one macronutrient completely they are all important for day-to-day -day human functions and no carbs don't make you fat consuming too many calories does so eat your carbs dealing with difficulties if your weight slows down or stops it might be your body adapting to the deficit you placed it in so if you go two weeks without any fat loss drop your calories by 200 either moving more or eating less or an addition of both whatever you prefer what should you eat you should be focused on eating unprocessed healthy foods like complex carbs like oats potatoes rice also focus on stuff like fruits vegetables yogurts lean protein sources are good as this will reduce cravings and keep you more satiated Shared. meal frequency i recommend spreading your meals out over three to five meals with an equal distribution of protein next supplements going to keep this short basically they can help but they are not necessary cardio first i recommend your step count is at least above 10k steps then start to introduce cardio but i recommend keeping it to lists to maximize muscle mass as it keeps fatigue low i recommend using cardio as a last minute tool and if you are unable to drop your calories further as it is much harder to do cardio than it is just to eat less training don't change how you train and start doing loads of high reps keep training the same what built the muscle is what will keep it also don't focus on any specific muscle groups as you're not going to be building much if any muscle so spread volume and frequency evenly i recommend training around your maintenance training volume whilst you're in a deficit and one last thing to think about a very helpful tip that you should try is if you're someone who isn't hungry in the morning then you have a small meal save more of your calories for when you're hungry and when you usually get cravings so for me at night i get a lot more cravings and i'm a lot hungrier so i save more of my calories for the afternoon i hope this information helped and i know there's a lot of information in such a short video but hopefully you can take away the key principles of fat loss and use them to get the results you're looking for like i did on my weight loss journey if you enjoyed please subscribe and comment what videos you want to see next